Welcome to 5 News Online. I'm Joe Ellison. A Northwest Arkansas doctor accused of sexually assaulting at least a dozen patients will make his first court appearance today. Twelve different women have come forward saying Dr. Adam Moss touched them inappropriately. One woman reported he touched her breast without her consent during an exam. Moss's records show he has no history in giving women medical breast exams. According to prosecuting attorney Nathan Smith, Dr. Moss is at the Bend County Jail this morning. A bond hearing is set for later this afternoon. Now, Smith says there will likely be a trial for this case, and if there is, he expects some of the victims to testify. All right, before we get to other news, let's check in with meteorologist Matt Standridge for a look at today's weather. Hey, Matt. Hey, Joe, we have a really nice Thursday across northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. We've got more rain chances, though, coming up tomorrow. I want to show you some of those rain chances. This afternoon, I think we're good. There could be maybe one pop-up shower somewhere. 98% of us are going to be fine this evening. Uh, we're pretty much clear all the way through sunset. Now, overnight tonight, we'll be watching our next complex come back in from the west. By 3 o'clock in the morning, we should still be dry. Clouds increasing, but then heavy rain chances come in by about 4 to 5 o'clock, and then they'll linger for the next couple of hours, at least on and off. There could be some gusty winds, but the main threat is the flooding threat. We've had so much water this week, and we're likely to get maybe a couple more inches. And in some of these cells, not exactly sure where they're going to specifically set up, they could drop another three or four inches of rain. There's a lot of water in the atmosphere. We continue to wring it out, so flooding threats are high tomorrow morning, both in northwest Arkansas and especially in the River Valley, where some of us have picked up over eight inches of rain this week. And then we continue to warm up into this weekend. We clear out this weekend. No rain in the forecast really for us. And then next week we are just hot and dry. Walton family have officially agreed to buy the Denver Broncos football team. The buyers are led by Walmart heir Rob Walton, as well as his daughter and son-in-law. Terms of the deal were not disclosed, but the bid was reportedly for $4.65 billion. The deal still needs to be approved by the NFL, though. The Broncos had been inching closer to a sell over the past few weeks, with prospective buyers visiting the team's facilities in May. If the deal is approved by the league, it would mark the first time the Broncos will have new ownership since Pat Bolin bought the team in 1984. Well, thank you for joining us here at 5 News Online. I'm Joe Ellison. Catch up with us again tomorrow. We'll have more news and weather. Have a great Thursday.